Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Talking Shit with your boy, the manic genius and the sophisticated jerk. Yo. So, all right, today, man, I got a good clip for us to view. And it's about like why these two females on this clip can't date guys with nine to fives. They're going to break it down for us. So, man, you ready to go in? Always. <laughs> Always. All right, let, me, let me pull that up. <clears throat> all right. I'm made, He's not a I man. You said you. What makes you a maid? I don't know if that's word. What makes you? What makes my maid? What Trishana's looking for? Yeah. Okay, my friend Trishana Hill is looking for a man to come when she's out working all day like today. Mm -hmm. When she goes home, she want him to be sitting there on the bed, dick out, ready to rub her feet with some oil, maybe have <sighs> cooked for her, um, fuck her good. After she gets fucked, she want to lay back down, get rubbed on, talk about her day. She want to go to sleep before him. Him watch her sleep to make sure nobody comes in the house to, <laughs> to get her. Mm. And then, and, and when he go to sleep, that's when she gets up to go back to work. So let me ask you something. <laughs> Are you, you, you want to pay for that? And you she's know, willing to pay. I am. Not him, per se. But when Where the camera at? We're hiring right now. For a man? For a man. Hiring right now to do everything that they said the following and she's hiring. We will negotiate the price. Yeah, she'll mm. pay for full that time required. So you gonna wait? Pause it. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, would you sign up for that role? Uh, <laughs> what, what is she? She wants her guy to. I, I heard the part where she wants him dick out, uh, waiting for her to come home from work. A long day's work for work. You yeah, know, cook. Drop it down. Yeah, cook. I, I assume clean. Like the house should be clean. Um, cook clean, and then you know. Drop it on her, listen to you know her day, and you know give her watch like her a, go to sleep. Or yeah, that's like weird. uh waiting to exhale type shit. Or what was that one with uh Martin Lawrence with the crazy chick? <laughs> just be watching her sleep and stuff. Like yeah, no, nah, but but I, the part I missed, and maybe it was just too low, or uh, maybe I said something and I, I missed it. But what does she say when she wakes up in the morning? What does she want him to do? I I, I didn't catch that part. <clears throat> Like, does she want him to work too, or like he he goes off to work? I think he, she just want to do catering to her. Let me let me see if I can catch it. I'll play it. Negotiate the price. Yeah, she mm. pay for full that time dick. required. Oh, you got to go back a little bit more. Yeah, you know, like it was right before that. Hiring right now for a man. For a man. No, it was right that. now because it was when her friend was talking. Up to go back to work. So let me ask you something. Oh, right before that, <laughs> like maybe like ten seconds. Yeah, there we go about her day she want to go to sleep before him him watch her sleep to make sure nobody comes in the house to, <laughs> to get her hmm. and then and and when he can go to sleep is when she wakes up to go back to sleep. so let me ask you something <laughs> are you you, you want to pay for that and she's oh. willing to pay I am. not him per se oh okay where the camera at we're hiring she's wild. right now for a man for a man hiring right now to do everything that they said the following and she's hiring we will negotiate man. the price yeah She'll mm. pay for that Full date. time required. So you're gonna pay for that date? You know, save them. All right, so let save me save who? Save them and throw them back. Save if I'm requiring that much out of you, I will take you from your job. And when I'm done, with you, I'll take you back to your job. So wait, we you said you can't you can't deal with a guy that got a job. Yeah, so yeah, she's <laughs> it's temporary. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you pretty much gonna screw yourself over leaving your job you you get like a, a temporary uh situation and then uh once she's bored yeah you you get tossed aside so she's yeah, maneuvering kind of like a like a man like not even like a man she's maneuvering like a, a straight you know um uh, she's moving like a like a guy who pays for escorts essentially but yeah. she wants more yeah. than just the escort service she wants a, a live-in escort that she's not going to actually pay. She's she wants some gonna... uh, Richard Gere, pretty woman type shit. Not even, because Richard Gere, you know, he took care of her. He showed her things. He's like, he, 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 you know, it was, a he added her to his life and showed him his lifestyle versus, you know, um, you know what she's asking for. She just wants a guy to stay home. She's not showing him and introducing him into her lifestyle. She just wants him to be there in, in her home, uh, provide these sexual acts for him, but not so like leave. A... She wants him to then turn into a bodyguard overnight while she sleeps. And then 
throughout the day. She doesn't care what he does. She wa- but she wants him to be a chef. She wants him to be an escort. Butler. Yeah. She, and she wants him to be a, a bodyguard. <laughs> so she wants these three things and she's not willing to pay for anything other than a roof over his head. So it's, it's actually, that's not a good deal. You know? Yeah. No I mean, doubt. if you look not at a... it, like reverse it, like a guy saying, Hey, I want a girl to just come to my house. I'm going to allow her to stay in my house. But when I come home, I want food cooked. I want sex. I want a masseuse. I forgot that she wanted a masseuse too. I want to be, <laughs> I, want, I want her to be a masseuse. And then, uh, I don't want her to sleep next to me. I want her to just be on a watch, you know, while I'm sleeping. And then when I go to work, that's when, you know, she can go to sleep, but it's just like, you know, and then when I get bored of her, I'll just replace her with somebody new. Like if that was coming from a dude's mouth, that would be so misogynistic. Oh, what do you just see women? Do you just see women as sex? You know, someone to cook Yeah, that for cat would have been canceled. Yeah. Someone to <laughs> give you a massage. Yeah. So. Okay, no, I like how you flipped it. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, they, and she's not even, and she's not even paying this, 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 this poor fella who she's like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. At first, it was it was sounding a little decent until she said, like, I'm gonna discard him. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, and then I'm just gonna discard him. So he's gonna quit his job, right? Just to have a roof over his head. You have to be a bu- Well, I, I can't. I mean, I see. I see why she's saying she can't date a nine to five because, you know, anybody with a nine to five, that's a terrible deal. You're trading your, you're trading your ability to make and create money. Uh, not create, you, you're, you're, you're eliminating your, your means, um, for nothing with any benefits. Yeah. For instability. You, yeah, you're, yeah. you're leaving stability for instability. Instability. Yeah. 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 yeah you're, you're putting all your eggs in a emotional basket. <laughs> yeah. So fuck that. All right. Let me, let me keep playing this. Yeah. Do you have a job, Jay? Yes. Okay. Why well, can't I deal with you? The reason why I cannot deal with <laughs> She no, said no, it as a like, it was like an option. Like, no, it's not an option. And that's what I was going to say. Rule respect to your girlfriend. That's not, that's not what she's I She's not going to take it personally. Yeah, she no, I can't working. take anybody that got a job either. That's why I said I, would. I don't not, want nobody with a job. Because if, we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girl's family. And you can't because you got to tell your, when it comes But you can't to, tell them like, oh, I got to go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like you got to. No, but when it so comes So you could just to, leave your job. I mean. Anytime. Like, right, like you told us we had to push the time back because you didn't get off work to a certain time. Like, that yeah. already is, like, a hassle. Okay. No, but That's a red flag. for me, no, not it's flag. not a red flag. But for me personally, because I know when a lot of people say, oh, I can't date a man with a job, a lot of people on the internet take it to offense. But me, mm-hmm. Destiny, cannot mm-hmm. date a man with a job, one, because I'm very spontaneous. And I need, wait, 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 Jay, before you get to leaning back and breaking the chair. What I'm saying is, and I also need a man to understand where I'm at in the moment that I'm at. Like, I probably will have a week where I work so much, and then I have a week where I don't work at all. You get what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, it's like it's very up and down, and mm-hmm. I just want somebody to understand the mental state that I'm in. Sometimes I get really, really depressed because I always have to show up for people. Mm-hmm. So then I'll be like, I-, I want a man to be there to comfort me during that moment. I just feel like a so man. So you want a maid, too? I don't want a maid. I got to pause right there. <laughs> yeah she said a lot already so first of all like i don't know what job she does where she worked one week and then off the next one why don't you just consistently work and get yourself ahead <laughs> you know <laughs> well she said she said she's an entrepreneur but that's like internet code for like i'm selling something you know i'm i'm doing something trendy you know so this might not this is not sustainable she said she just said it herself she's like you know, it might be what up. you say, it like gimmick work? Down. Huh? Gimmick work? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even call it gimmick work. I would just call it like, you know, trend, trendy stuff. Like she's probably, um, I don't know what she does, but, you know, it's probably, you know, she looks like she has her makeup together and stuff like that. So it's probably in something in beauty and cosmetics. It might be selling nails or, you know. But I mean, as if it if it ever gets profitable, like to a crazy amount, everybody's going to jump on it because whatever she's in probably has a super low barrier of entry, so it's not sustainable. So she can catch waves because you know things get trendy, but let her start making some real money, like real money. Anybody who knows her, 
that that will just hop on that same bandwagon and do the same thing. You know, so you know, you got her specifically, because her job has the level of instability that it has, she should be looking for a guy with a nine to five, you know, to kind of give her that coverage of like, hey, you know, I, I get the whole like spontaneous thing, like I want to just be able to go when I want to go. But you know, that's just not the reality. You know, even entrepreneurs, they can't just go where they want to go. Because as an entrepreneur, you have clients that you have to deal with. And, you know, you have a certain high season. You want to capitalize on your high season. So sometimes that might be in the same time when you just want to go. And, yeah, you can you can do it as an entrepreneur. But, you know, you're, it's not going to come without sacrifice. So. These chicks is broke. I mean, Man, I, this is like broke, broke people jargon. Because, like. You know, like th this is where you know a true person that's like a truly getting it are like actually business like savvy. Because like if you're working for one week, you make enough money to like go on some trips and stuff. See, these are the type of people that just want to do enough and think that they're balling. Because oh, yeah. it's just like, okay, you're working one one week, but the next week, following week, you're probably gonna burn through that cash you made. So then you go back the next week <laughs> and you repeat. So oh, that's why I was just like. A smart person would be like, look, I just need to sacrifice for about two to five years. Then I could get to the point where like I could start, you know, I could maybe cut my hours back or, you know, some way where I could like plan, you know, different trips. But I'm ahead at that point. Like I pay down my house now. I could, you know, I got no debt or nothing like that. I'm saving myself money from not paying the mortgage. So that's why I'm saying she's thinking so short term where. You know, it's almost to the point where it, it, it's, it's laughable. So it's just like kind of like one of the other videos where we were breaking down where some other females was kind of talking about this. Like, oh, uh, you know, I want the you remember, I think she was saying I want the drug dealer guy. Yeah, I, I think even though they try to make it sound like they're coming from a position of strength, I think they almost know, like in this case, like how she's mentioning, oh, I could have dated a guy that's a nine to five. It's because, man, they they know I can't get by on that guy with structure. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's seeming like. Cause yeah, like I said, if you're taking a whole week off and you're you're killing it in one week, why not consistently like get ahead? But it's just like, like you mm -hmm. said, that's why I was saying it's probably like that uh gimmick type work oh, where it's like okay, off okay, and okay. on and stuff. So yeah, no, okay, I would I would agree with you then. Cause I, yeah, I was thinking yeah, it was it, like it's a just weird. Thing. So either you're you're dumb or it's just like like you said, trendy work. <laughs> Cause most people that like have a certain sense, they're like, nah, if I'm making it like this, you never know what what's gonna happen in the future. So let me capitalize on this right now. Yeah. And just like work and sacrifice. So yeah, that's what I kind of get from her. But I, I see what you were saying too, because uh, what you what you were saying also makes sense. Yeah. But let me let me continue with the I want a man. We not the same. Bro. It sounds like you want him to be there too. No, I don't. It's different, fam. With all due respect, because you didn't call me like so many names, I can say this. With all due respect. Oh, he, oh, he about to get it off his chest. Get it off your chest, Jay. Spit it out. Say it with your chest. Back to the wall. That is just, it's just, it's just. Say what you, you got it say. fucked up. I'm I got it why. fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Because just because a, a guy has a job doesn't mean that he can't understand the things that you're going through. Okay. Just because a guy has a job doesn't mean he's not an entrepreneur. Mm. Um, and since we're talking, since we're here, yeah. right? This is my first time ever having a, a corporate job. But mm -hmm. you, if you don't get really, past what made the, you, to, what made you to go him. to the job? Um, to support my lifestyle because uh, my passion isn't um, paying for the type of life I want. And I'm, I'm the type happy of, that you have a passion. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that's going to get it no matter what. Mm -hmm. But so before that, right? Yes. I mean, pa yeah, podcast. Mm -hmm. so I, just, you, I have three so jobs. So you work to pay for this? Yeah. So instead Absolutely. of doing this full time and reaching out for like sponsorships and all that, you go to work. <laughs> you think I don't do this full time? Hey, pause the video. Asking. I do this full time. So then pause what the time video. do you go to work? Not not this woman trying to trying to convince this man that it's that easy to worry, oh, you should just quit your job so you can focus full time on sponsorships and you know, building out your brand and you know, just making it. Like I love how people who've never done it give advice. Like, it's that easy. Like, and he knows, he knows. That's why he's working his job to build out, you know, what he, what he's passionate about, which is talking to people. And, you know, I probably, probably, probably share some of the same stuff that we share as far as uh, getting information out there to people and calling, you know, BS out. And, you know, that's why I had to stop the video because we got to call that BS out. 
it is not easy to become a super popping, popping, monetized YouTube channel. It takes grind. It takes dedication. It takes consistency. It takes discipline. It takes a whole lot of things that, you know, and then you have to factor in that anybody can do it. You know, the world is open. Anybody can buy. I see he's got a sure mic. It's similar to mine. Um, yeah, he, <laughs> this, this mic was $300, but the other mic in my other studio, that's, that's a $600 mic. So it's just like, he has three of them. So he's using his money to invest in, you know, where he wants to go with this. So it's just like, that's exactly how you do it. You don't go and form an LLC and take a crazy business line of credit. <laughs> Like you see people on the internet tell you, oh, you got to invest in yourself. You got to trust in yourself. And, you know, you know, you, there is no plan B. Like, uh, yeah, you keep telling yourself that. But the people who failed at plan A, you know, they put themselves in a bind to where they'll never get out. And they're going to have to just wait for somebody to rescue them and save them. Or they're going to have to file bankruptcy, which, you know, people do. But why put yourself through all that stress? And headache when you can just be smart and work a nine to five and save your money, invest your money in something that you want to build out. But yeah, I just I just had to stop it there because she just made it seem like it's just easy to get sponsorships and thousands of dollars to, you know, get paid to podcast. Yeah, so uh, I, I like the fact that you did stop it because actually I was going to stop it because I there was one point where she said earlier where she was talking about like she gets depressed like. You know, uh, that's why she takes that trip and she's spontaneous. And it's just like, you know, if somebody operates like that already, you know, you could tell that they're kind of not successful like that. Yeah. Because like yeah, people yeah. that operate like that, they're too up and down. And it's just like, you know, successful people understand like you have to have consistency even with your emotions and stuff to because mm. you're dealing with like businesses and stuff. But going back to the point what you're talking about, you know, Definitely, he's he's smart. See, this is a dude that he's he's gonna be wealthy because he's looking at it from the approach like, look, I, yeah, I, I, this is my passion and stuff, but I also have the common sense to understand that like, I need to you know get ahead and I I could use my money to invest in this and then if it takes off, yeah, then I, I'll I'll assess it at that point and then maybe I could like separate from the the job. But look, I I will sacrifice kind of like I was saying what she should have been looking like. Like, yeah. hey, look, if I got a successful week, the following week, I, sh I should be trying to work instead of doing these trips right now. Maybe I start my trips in year two. And mm. so he's looking at it from that 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 lens, you know, versus like, oh, well, I'm depressed. Let me go take my trip. Let me be spontaneous and go wherever I want. He's like, mm -mm, I'm going to get ahead. And then I'm going to like, <laughs> then I'll let my hair down and, you know, start chilling a little bit. So he's taking yeah, that right approach. And stuff. So, a little bit. Yeah, he, he's going to be wealthy. The mother, too, like you said, they're going to be like they, they're going to throw out some Hail Marys. They're, they're gonna, their whole plan. Plan B is a dude's going to have to come in and try to save them. That's their, <laughs> that's their oh, plan. Yeah, yeah, B. Thanks. yeah. So he's just like, nah, I'm going to do this the smart way. And, I, you know, I got this job. I got this stability. Like you said, I'll invest in that. Then sponsorship come, then absolutely I'll take them and stuff. But like you said, sponsors are not just knocking on everybody's door. And then even if you're popping, there's no law, there's no thing to say. Like you might have a good year and then somebody else comes. You yeah. know, people got short attention spans. So it's just like you're not the only, like you said, everybody got like a YouTube starter kit. Hell, we got some. It was, <laughs> but it's yeah. like anybody can start a podcast. So you might have a good stretch where it's like one to two years and then the next best thing comes in. Now, like you, you know, you 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 out there flapping around trying to figure out the next move. So it's just mm -hmm. like sometimes, yeah, like if you could juggle both, I advise anybody to do that and get ahead. So nah, yeah, yeah, you got to definitely have stability, you know, yeah. to wait to uh, weather the storms of the ups yeah, and downs, especially with entrepreneurship. Yeah, t typically the wealthy people they go for stability. Like even like Jeff Bezos and all those guys had a. Uh, jobs prior and you know yeah, invested facts. into their company so like idiots are going to always tell you to jump off and oh why don't you just put all of it into that like yeah okay let me start it again uh i go to work around like eight in the morning what time do you get off depends four or five but i'm okay I'm then what going, time do you start podcasting probably eight in the morning and then what time do you start? wait you start podcasting at eight in the morning eight at night 
I have to edit. I have, oh, to, true, true, true. I have to reach out to sponsors. So what time do you come here and then what time do you stop? I come here whenever I need to. Okay, so what time? Whenever I need to. What time Today could be six. Tomorrow could be four. Okay, what time do you end? I don't, honestly. So what time are you leaving here tonight? So you mean to tell me you put 40 hours into this, the same 40 hours that you put into your job? I don't put 40 hours into this. What do you do? I probably put like 100, honestly. Mm, yeah. What that? Why no you cap. at work? Yeah. I Like when I'm working, since it's an interrogation, but what, since I'm working, it's I'm not. editing. No, it's fine. I'm editing. I'm uh, on phone calls. I'm emailing people to get guests. Uh, I think I probably reach out to y'all and talk to y'all while I was working, mm-hmm. but I'm still working this job. But I say to the say, back pause to it you, again. I don't, I don't fall because you can have your own. Maybe this guy won't be as successful as we think. <laughs> Why is it? Uh, if anybody watching, you know, works with him, you know, he's saying, hey, I'm doing this all on the clock. Like, hey, that's not smart. Uh, and, you know, that stability can be stripped under, you know, that pull, that rug could be pulled right up, up under him, especially if he's this reckless to talk about, you know, he's doing this on company time. Oh, okay, good. Well, maybe he got like flexibility. He might have talked to them like as long as he get it, you know, it might be project based versus oh, okay, yeah. uh yeah, so that's what I'm saying. He probably already knows like the the rules, but yeah, he he uh, I I would refrain from saying I'm doing that on a the dime, like like you yeah, said. Yeah, doing it on <laughs> Jay Hill. Now nah, he's still a smart dude, but yeah, definitely definitely uh pull back on that. I think sometimes people feel like they gotta sp- start explaining and it's like hey, that's uh behind the scenes chat, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, don't don't let these uh these unruly chicks uh mess up your bread, Jay. Yeah, definitely not. All right, let me pop, uh play again okay, on this. You can have your own preference, but what I will say is, I feel like when when you say that you can't date a guy with a job, you don't really get to know his his background, right? Like like this is my first time having a job, right? I could be a hundred percent entrepreneur, right, or somebody else, and you miss that. But go ahead. I like and this that. is what I would I like say. That. Thank you. You know, respect the man's man. Respect the mic, respect the man. True, respect the mic and respect the man. What I can say is everybody is not equal and everybody is not made the same. So everything is not for everybody. And I respect you having a job to fund your passion. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I scam to fund mine. And Show then me I let when them... we done. <laughs> no, no, no. I told <laughs> no, God I would never. Done. I told God I would never scam again if he just showed oh, so me something lied. else. Oh, okay, okay. I, ne- I didn't lie to God. I don't lie to God. No, you just lied to you... me. I said, I scammed. Oh, with the ED. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. I said, I scammed to fund my passion. Do you Mm, get what I'm saying? mm. So I respect you for doing something to fund your passion because that could be temporary. You know, having a job for you (laughs) could be temporary. That that might not be what you see for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. But just to take that time to sacrifice to do that, to fund a passion like this, in a few years, this shit might blow up, which I think it will blow up. Mm. But for the person who I am in the space that I am in now. That ain't for you. It ain't for me. That's perfectly and fine. I will say too, all you got to do, look at me. All you got to do is write you a good business plan and get you a little loan to get you the funding to do this. Because mm. I would have to find talk a way about. Out. Yep, the whole loan <laughs> shit. Yeah, people, man, people who've never done it, they love saying how easy it is to get money and like, it's like, oh, just, just get you a loan. Like, no, in order to get a loan, you got to have you know, credit or some collateral. And I mean, I've seen people on the internet say, you don't need credit collateral or anything. Like you can get this crazy business loan and like, yeah, you know, congratulations. You 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 got the opportunity to be $50,000 in debt. Like, and they think it's like, it just gets wired to you and they, they hand you this, this suitcase full of cash. And they're like, hey, yeah, just pay me back, you know, um, just pay me back in five years. You know the fifty k that you you that I borrowed that you borrowed from me. No, every loan that you get has interest that accrues. And they say APY, you know, which makes you think it's annual, but it accrues daily. And with that accrual of interest daily, it's compounded. So you might borrow fifty thousand dollars. You know, um, and I wish I had a you know my cal- calculator pulled up right now. But uh, hypothetically, you might borrow $50,000, you know, at like a 9% interest rate. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to pull some shit up right now. No, we ain't got to calculate it because this is uh, the concept. But like you're, okay. you're saying, because uh, it, it's running lines of credit. So when you even look at a lot of businesses that have to borrow money like that, they're trying to pay it back. You know, like 
fast as hell. You know, that's why, like, even with us, we have the, like, prompt payment act and stuff like that, where it's just, like, you know, they got to make sure that you, before you even take out the loans, because I remember one of the contracts I was doing, I, I, I had to assess the finances of the company. And, you know, they had a line of credit, but I'm like, hey, man, how are you going to pay this back? Because, you know, I got to poke holes into, like, some of this stuff. I'm like, I got to ask questions. And I'm like, you know, how much are you bringing in to make sure that, you know, so they had to show me their whole financial uh, capability and stuff like that, how much they were bringing in. And I so I could analyze to make sure that, you know, they won't go out of business while doing our contract and shit. So, uh, you know, when people's like you said, kind of say that stuff, it's just they don't understand business. So like you said, in their mind, they're like, oh, just take out the loan. And what happened? You have a couple bad months that you know, you're not even bringing in enough money. So you're not only are you losing out on business, but now you still got this loan that you got to pay back and stuff. So it's like, that's how a lot of businesses spiral out of control. Cause like yeah. a couple months go by and then now you're out on that. So it's just like, you, you, you still got to pay that loan back with the interest and stuff. So mm-hmm. now they made it harder to even claim bankruptcy and stuff like that. So yeah, people play a dangerous game with this stuff. And like you said, it's just terrible advice where, you know, those type of people, man, they, <laughs> like I said, they got a scammer's mindset. So when you got a scammer's mindset, man, you just think everything's easy because you came across a couple of bucks. But yeah, once yeah, it yeah. goes sideways, you know, in the business world, man, they don't understand. That's a whole nother realm where people going to come get their money. Are they going <laughs> to, you know, they're going to clean you out to a certain degree. So yeah. now you're going to be like behind your whole life just because you, you know, you wanted to do stuff the wrong way and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, nah, you took just, one risk. Yeah, Man. terrible advice. And then now it's just like now they got to jump back in the job market because it's like your business, all your your wonderful bad ideas like can't come to fruition. So it's like now they got to jump back in the job market. So now that they were out so long chasing these like these schemes and stuff, like she was kind of saying, they have to take any job. You see them at like Hertz and shit, <laughs> yeah. you know, where if you would have like had an actual 95 and, you know, kind of took the approach, like what's his name was talking about. Jay was saying like, Hey, I'm going to wait and see if this pans out. Mm-hmm. Then I'll go, I, I could jump in, you know, they lose that and they got to start all the way back at the bottom. So yeah, it's just a bad strategy, man. Like, so yeah, people like this, when they're like, Oh, I don't mess with guys that like do nine to fives. Thank God. Like, cause yeah. these, could you imagine like you had a, a good professional job and you mess with somebody like this and they drag you down and can low key, mm-hmm. like you marry them, they could impact you on, cause like what they bring into your life. So yeah. Any chick that's talking about like, I only mess with entrepreneurs and stuff. Thank you. Bye. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. They don't understand no business. That's a bullet you're going to dodge on the back end. Cause even they don't, they don't understand about like uh work benefits yeah, they don't understand 401k basic plans, economy. the money you get from that. And that's why I laugh when people say that. Cause it's just like if you look at the stats on most uh companies, majority of companies don't make over 70,000. But then now you're on the hook for your medical benefits. Cause you know, like most jobs will uh subsidize like your health benefits. Mm-hmm. Even, you know, they got some some college student loan payment programs if you get in the right fields and stuff. So it's just like you're missing out on a lot of this stuff. So it's like if you do want to go in and be an entrepreneur, I, I love people that create jobs. So I'm, we're not saying, but it's like, you know, you got to assess like what you might have to pay out of pocket expenses versus like what you could get for a company. And I think a lot of people, they just like uh, fantasize about the whole, I work for myself. But like you said, it's like, man, you still got to go work and chase them customers. Yeah. You, you know, cause like, hey, employer. you mess around and don't have no uh, medical, you know, benefits and you have kids or yourself get sick and it's just like man you're just gonna get cleaned out so it's just like when people don't like think about none of this stuff i already know like like i said they got a broke mentality and they're just like fantasizing about just like having downtime during the day and hanging out and shit versus like chasing that bread but you got anything else you wanted to say no i think you i think you covered it all i mean i i agree with everything you said uh yeah it's unfortunate that you know we push, or I'm not going to say we, I see a lot of people pushing this whole entrepreneurship and, you know, taking this risk. And I am I think you have to take risk if you want to put yourself in a different position. But there's a way to take risk and then there's a way to take calculated risk. Like, I think my man Jay, who, who's running this podcast, he's taking a calculated risk. He's using his own money. You know, probably for the most part, he might even take out a little bit of a loan, but um, just the way he's operating from the standpoint of like, hey, I need a job to like 
you know, sustain the day to day stuff. Like I need the stability, the consistency so I can be productive out here because it's nothing like having the pressure of having to push content and, and create content without any stability. You know, it's going to put you in a very different place, like almost in like a flight, you know, fight or flight, you know, mode. And not everybody can operate like that. And in this in this, uh, you know, trendy society, you know, hell, YouTube can change their whole policy on how things are being monetized. And now your whole game is destroyed. You know, they can start charging. Hey, if you if you want to be a content creator, we'll give you a. A specific like little badge and this way you can you know create content but if you don't have that badge then you know we will purposely make sure you're st- it's not in the algorithm you know they can do all types of things and charge people to have a badge you know before they even make a single dollar so it's just like things can change and you know there's just so much out of your control so you just have to make sure that as each day passes, each month goes on, you're working, you're building towards something and having stability in your finances is definitely on the right path. Oh, you went on mute. Oh, my bad. I was just going to say, no, nah, I totally agree with you, man. That's a, yeah, he definitely took calculator risk versus like, I'll say unnecessary risk and yeah. so... Nah, you broke it down, but we'll go ahead and close this one out, man. All right, y'all. Keep sending us clips and we keep breaking them down, but peace. Yeah. Manic out. <laughs> Leave broke chicks alone. Peace. <laughs> yeah.